What's up, y'all? JoJo here. Make sure you like, subscribe, share your free content. If you're new to the channel, go check out my other videos to catch up on my vibe. Message. If I could tell you guys to do anything, make sure you check your audio. Make sure you think it. Make sure you check everything before you get started watching the video. So, um, because I just had a little microphone issues because I didn't have everything. Um, let me get this cord out there. I didn't have any everything attached. So let's get into the video. So if you haven't read the title, I'm going to show you how to synchronize videos, synchronize videos so you don't have to do what I did in the beginning process. So if you have Final Cut Pro open, once you have Final Cut Pro open, you're going to follow along exactly step by step and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. I'm going to show you the good and the bad version of what I did first and then I'm going to show you the, the best version. So what we're going to do is open Final Cut Pro. I have it open. I do have the trial version. If you want to find out how to get the 90 day trial version, I will probably probably I will probably have the link in the bottom so you can figure it out. All right. So once once you get started, you want to go to new, you want to open up project and you want to choose the settings of your choice. I'm going to name this one sync. OK, so once you have it, once you have it open, right, um, we're going to name a new project, right? I'm going to name this one sync one, right? So once you have the project open, this is what you would do next. You're gonna find your, your audio of choice. You're gonna find the media, you're gonna go to media, and you're gonna import it. And uh, once you import it, it's gonna show like this. I, I, I already have the example I already imported because I ain't want you guys to wait. I know some of you guys can be very impatient. So once you have it imported, the reason why I do it like this, you can go to your file and you can drag it into the uh, into the timeline. But I don't believe that to be the best option because um, you want to have it all trans transcribed and you know rendered so it don't slow down your process when editing. So before, um, so I'm gonna show you a bad example of what I used to do. So this is what I used to do. I will go, I will find the audio right, and then I will grab my uh, my recording and I will try to sync them together. I would try to listen for the clap or the or the noise I made in the beginning. So if I make a clap, it makes it a lot easier to sync your audio so you don't have to just listen for the particular word to uh, link to sync it all together. So the problem with that was in Final Cut Pro, after a while, in the beginning, it will sound normal. But then it become echoey, meaning it's not, it's no longer aligned with um, your voice. So whenever you're speaking, it feel like you're speaking like um, them old Asian movies, where um, it seems it sound like you lip syncing, lip syncing, right? Uh, nothing against the Asian community, I fucks with y'all. Um, so, um, but like, okay, so let's get into it. So I'm gonna delete this. So this is what you want to do. You can only do the synchronizing when it's up here, when it's in this area, right? So let me drag this. All right, so you have the option. You can do the, you can click these buttons right here. It's gonna break it all the way down. And then, <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna stay on point so you guys don't get distracted. So here's my clip, right? And then here's my my audio, and, but it's a screen recording. So it's just, it works the same way if you have audio. So this is what you want to do. With. You're gonna grab, you're gonna, you're gonna click command, uh, and then you're gonna click whatever video and audio of your choice, and it's gonna click them both together, right? And then you're gonna right click and click synchronize. <clears throat> so, what that does is, it basically creates a whole nother project for you. And you can do it this way, you can choose your settings and like and do that, right? Because I want to make sure I'm going to depth on what I'm doing because some of you guys might get, um, confused and I, ha I have got confused too because once I did the synchronizing I was like what's next right so once you synchronize your clip it's doing its thing it's synchronizing <clears throat> let me rephrase that it has never taken that long before so what you want to do next is you can come up here you can double click this or you can click the double click this part right here so once it has this little um, link right here double click it and it already has your timeline 
basically uh, it already has your timeline basically uh, synced with your audio. Let me move this to the side. So let's say, let me move this to the side. All right, so you have your audio synced, right? Okay, so what's next is you wanna uh, you figure out your audio is synced, right? So what's next is sometimes whenever you uh, try to master your file, whenever you try to export, the audio might not work. And the reason why the audio might not work is because it's in a synchronized location. Like it's hard to explain. I don't know if this happens every time, but for the most majority of the time, I always have to copy and paste, copy basically this, right? And go to my original timeline where you see nothing, right? And then I paste whatever uh, I did in that synchronized section because then whenever you do that, you can then click the master file. Oh, see, this is a, okay, this is a great example right here. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a great example. Uh, this is a great video, but, um, all right so so now you can click the master file and click and click whatever your option is you can do it in 1080p you can do the master file 1080p it happens to re uh, render export a lot faster but if you want to do the master file you get uh, the full quality so i believe that method to work as far as your audio and stuff like that but if you keep it in a synchronized area um your audio might not work when you export it. All right, so let's say um, you start editing it, coloring, grading, while it's in a synchronized. What happens is, again, those effects does not apply to your original project. So you will have to, again, copy and paste it to your original sync name or whatever your choice is. But look, um, that's pretty much it, man. I try to keep it short and sweet. That's how you synchronize a video. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. I try to answer to answer to my best ability. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Jojo, we out.